What's up guys, we're gonna roll beats and today I'm gonna be showing you three easy things you can do to quickly fix your bad melodies and beats. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, so our first tip is with the melody. So this is the sound I'm using. Um, and then I just made like a little trash melody here. It's nothing really crazy, so. And it's really not that bad, but it's just for an example, okay? And I guess for demonstration, I'll drag in a scale just so you know, if some people don't know music theory, they'll kind of at least be able to see what I'm talking about. It should be in a G sharp minor. Okay. So to fix your melody, all right, you have to work backwards and just kind of lay down like, okay, what, what makes a melody good, right? Well, if you think about it, most melodies you remember, right? You, you, they're catchy, um, just like jingles, like Christmas jingles, etc., stuff like that, or maybe your favorite song, you can probably sing it. So you want something that's kind of repetitive, right? Not too repetitive, like annoying. Um, and one way to fix that first is to look at your chords. Okay. Now these chords, they're it's all over the place, right? We got like these notes popping in. Now this I'm looking is a G sharp minor. Okay. Um, so the way I would do this is I would just delete all this, right? I know it'll hurt. You worked hard on the melody, but just delete it. And I would apply the thirds method. So the thirds method, um, is pretty much use three chords. So one chord should be pretty much take up most of the loop and the most of the loop is just this four bar loop. And then the rest should be cut in half. So you'll have two different ones here, which you can see we have a suspended here. So I would instantly just do this, okay? Yours may be more complex. And this will instantly make it a little bit more wrappable um, because one thing that can make things more rappable is I'm um, having a consistent flow or tone right and that's just a little quick hack um, now over here we could still use this stuff um, but I would change it a bit so since we have the scales in the background uh, we could change this bass note so let's let's probably make a chord from this note backwards okay let's see what that sounds like And then let's do this so we can have like a nice little bass line going, okay? Okay, so next what we need to do is fix the melody. So again, oversimplify it. Now, yes, this is simple, okay? But let's simplify it even more, okay? So let's take, this is pretty much the same. Let's take this, okay? And let's, we can even still use some of these notes let's just go straight to the basics so if we want something dark you could just literally use the first three notes of your chord pull them up okay shift d right and let's copy that exact melody in the exact place okay you don't need to think too hard about this um and you can just pick another note now one quick hack if you pick the third note of your chord that note usually works every single time and don't even have to listen to it honestly oops you could just copy that over okay and you could pretty much be done here and it's a very simple melody now there is another step but we'll stop it here um and then we'll go to that other tip but this is how you can oversimplify your melody you could just pull that back down okay we'll just listen to it one time okay um so let's go ahead and move on to the next one okay so i loaded up some effects um and this is kind of a part of it um, because this is so simple right it's a it's a very generic melody so how we um turn it into something that's useful is adding effects so i just made a chain here for you um so that you can kind of follow it it depends on the plugins you have and what i did here real quick is i pretty much just created variation by taking this note i just copied it over and i just pulled it down an octave so just so it's not super repetitive, okay? So that's one thing I did do off camera. So let's go back here and I'm gonna add the effects as we go. And this is something you could do to kind of mask the melody. Um, So we'll start with all this off. And of course I just EQ'd some of some uh, the uh, lows. And then this is usually where the vocals will sit. So I usually would EQ a little bit of that out, okay? Um, so first, just some reverb, okay? So we just add some reverb to kind of get it wide. 
okay and then using like a, a chorus or something like that will kind of give it a cool effect okay so it's just not super dry so this is just i just this is new in fl so i just use this because i never used it before um, so these are the settings okay and the reason i chose a chorus is because with our next effects uh, uh they kind of go well with uh these so like we have half time and i just chose basic stuff nothing crazy uh, so we have half time okay to kind of mask it okay and then the next effect in this order and you could try different orders uh would be reverse okay now this really masks the uh the melody as well especially when you have something this simple like this and it takes a while to play okay and then lastly i would probably add like some reverb delay i chose delay um just to fill in some of those empty spaces so this is just the default okay so that's an, a chain you can use to kind of fix this up okay and just make it you know at least usable um so now what we're going to do is add a counter um and we can go through some things there all right so next we have a uh, bell and this is to add the counter so i just loaded up these effects here for you so pretty much it's just reverb and then for the eq just kind of create this bell shape and you can kind of let as much leak out as, as you want it's up to you on how you want that to sound but the reason we add this reverb and it can be any plugin is to put it in the background um and this will add kind of that uniqueness to your loop or whatever okay uh, so these are the settings i'll turn up the decay turn down the dry and then turn up the wet about equally as the dry and then one thing that's important for this to work is to make sure you cut the lows um now if you if you're using this you can copy this but other plugins may not be able to do that so you want to cut these lows um so it's not clashing or anything like that even though we eq'd okay so this is without you can see it's now it's kind of in the background um, and i'll probably even let some of the highs leak since we only have two sounds all right so for this simple let's just go in here okay and you can just add sounds now this will be a little difficult because of the um the delay from the halftime okay and then what i'm gonna do here is just resolve this simple melody here with using the same note um so let's just find a spot you can see it's kind of resolved now we don't have to add any other notes and let's just copy this over and just change up the notes a little bit okay okay i like that um so very simple okay so there's something you can do and of course you can take this to a complex type of melody right um so let's go ahead and move on to our drums okay so now we're going to go over the drums. so same thing with the first melody you kind of want to oversimplify except you can do a lot as long as you space things out so you know you have people put patterns like this and then you want to do a whole bunch of stuff on um, which probably will sound good right nine times out of ten it'll sound good but if you're having issues where it's like ah something's not right it's not you know going well you know people just throw in just random drums right what you could do is simplify this right and you could be very selective of where you put these um sounds now where to put those if you're not sure wherever your pillars hit so wherever your 808 and clap hits is where you could kind of clutter them together so i'll show you what i mean and let's add that 808 pattern real quick we could just throw this in there um, so let's just take this shift D
very simple right this doesn't need to be overcomplicated because the simpler you go the easier it is to rap on it right um so now let's go down here right and i would turn these up 100 percent, but i don't have the soft clipper on right now so i'll just leave them down here um Okay, and then for our hi-hats, simply, we can just kind of tat them in, right? Um, you want to clutter things around here, so um, let's try. Let me see. Right, and then you see how it kind of bounces there. Um, and let's just add a few more. We don't got to overcomplicate this one either. Let's just let's do something like that. Okay, and just keep it simple, right? Um, you know what? I'm not even gonna mess with the velocity. I'm gonna just turn it down. And then we can go ahead and turn this clipper on. Um, so we just have this clipper at negative 12 ish. And then for the EQ, we can just turn up the highs a bit. I hope this doesn't sound too bad. Okay, and that's just some quick ways you can kind of fix your beat um, if things are off and stuff like that. But it's gonna be for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.